Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Tayen. If you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. All right, Leo the Lions. Welcome to your weekly terrascope. This is for October the 16th through the 23rd. And without further ado, let me go ahead and get into your beautiful reading. I call an air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is yod heh vah who will be able to give me this beautiful reading and information on it in all directions time and space past present and future are. and so it is oh my goodness let me tell you something okay because i don't think you already know but for your reading we have three categories we have your romance your career and then your life path that i have split the reading into and so you can get used to this because you will see this on every weekly reading crowning your read i think you're the only sign leo that started off with a reversal this is for sun moon rising and venus if it's in your chart all right so this means that you're denying your inner truth or the person that you're dealing with is basically sending sending missed signals or they're ignoring signals of love and they lack vision when it comes to this romance um i feel like there is some unrequited love between you and this person this person is not able to reciprocate this person is not able to be your wish fulfillment at this moment <clears throat> i feel like they're going through some personal issues and for some of them, I'm sensing that they're going through a spiritual awakening, not really tapped into their intuition fully. Okay. This could be an Aquarius because the star card is an Aquarius. Um, it, it deals with Korean energy. So please take what resonates. But for the most part, I don't think that um, this person is really in touch with themselves at this moment. I think that they're allowing their lives to consume them. And as a byproduct, your love is suffering as a result. You still are very much passionate. I mean, you're definitely carrying the fire because you are a fire sign. But I just feel like in this night energy, you're just, you know, you <laughs> I think you want this to turn out like now and now and right now. Like you're rushing towards with action, this relationship. You're wanting this commitment. You're wanting to push forward. You're wanting to get this person to see your worth. You're wanting everything to be what you want it to be. And right now, this person is not seeing you clearly. This person is not appreciating you. This person is taking you for granted. Okay. This is the energy for this week for you. It doesn't mean it's always going to be this way. It's just... The way it is now. Next, you, on the other hand, you have a calling on your life. Okay? You have a divine calling on your life. And even though things are temporarily on hold, it is because of this divine calling. You are a natural healer. You are a mystic. The reason why this person is not able to fully see you is because they're not in the same vibrational resonance and frequency as you. They're not on the same vibrational wavelength whatsoever. I feel like this person is a low vibrator and you're a high vibrator, okay? Take what resonates, but you and this person are clearly not on the same frequency at all. Your healing energy flows through you. This person doesn't want to be healed right now. This person just wants to, you know, be in their little self-pity in their pity party. And they want to blame other people for why they are having the type of life that they're having at this moment. And there's nothing that you can really do to save this person, you see. Things are temporarily put on hold for you right now, but they're going to look up. 
they're not going to always stay that way because with you being a spiritual um, person that you are, there are vast vistas that are ahead of you. You just need to expand your horizons and not put all of your stock in, in one person. Okay, don't put all of your eggs in one basket with this person. Okay, I know that you love this person. I know you care for this person. But right now, this person is not giving you reciprocity. This person is not reciprocating this back because they're incapable of doing that. They can't pour from an empty cup. I feel like you have a person that has very, um, very many... I am not going to say that, angels. I can't say that. Let me just put it this way. Let me reword it. They have a lot of soul trauma, a lot of things that they brought in that they're dealing with, and um, it's just really heavy on them. So you may want to be that jack-in-the-box <laughs> that pops out and ready to just explore, okay? My advice to you is explore other options. It's time for you to explore other options. It really is, okay? Um, it may be time for you to explore other options in your career as well because this is your career sector, right? Um, you may want to get into the healing arts. If you're not already into the healing arts, this is definitely your calling and this is showing up on your read. You may find an epiphany this week that may draw you into doing Reiki, Reiki healing or shamanic healing, Okay. But you definitely are a healer. You were born a healer. You are naturally drawn to nature. And nature is calling for you. Because there's some healing that needs to be done. Okay. So if you have an opportunity this week. Please get out and ground. Walk in nature if you can. If the weather permits. If not. Hug a tree. Ask for permission first. And you will get an inner nudge. Or you will get some type of instinct. Whether it's okay or not. And just hug this tree. Because Gaia wants to heal you. You're at a moment in your life where you need some healing done. And last but certainly certainly not least, I told you, you have shamanic powers. Ancient healing wisdom is within you. You are a shaman. This is the reason why I told you to do some Reiki healing, okay? Some shamanic healing. First for yourself and then on others, all right? This could be another reason why this person is repelling you. Like I said, again, this person doesn't want to be healed. This person has a lot of things in them that need to be healed too. Isn't that uh, the case most of the time? The people that need the healing don't want the healing, right? And then those that don't have access to people that know how to heal are craving for it and they can't get it. But at any rate, I really feel like right now you have some really good things that are coming into your life as far as your spiritual path and your career path. And the love department for this week, it's just not going to be the greatest for you, just like Aries. I don't know what it is with the fire signs for your reads, but I do have one more fire sign. I'm hoping that it gets better for you guys when it comes to love. But Aries didn't have a good in love neither. Someone's self-imposed. And I don't feel like this is self-imposed for you. I feel like, Leo, you have a really big heart. You're a giver by nature. You just got somebody that just doesn't appreciate you. And I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. You know what? Just because you may have some, some information provided to you in your reading doesn't mean that it's not a beautiful reading. It's still beautiful because now you can walk through this week with a lot of clarity, more clarity than what you had, okay? I am not going to do an extended version for this um, just because I'm really short on time. So I'm going to cut off the extended versions as of this reading. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe. Leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift through my wish list on Amazon, and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you in my love, and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness, and so it is, everyone. Namaste.